Hello everyone, TechAid TV here, in for today's video, is we are going to troubleshoot and fix the 000043 Epson error of this Epson EcoTank L1850 printer. This error occurs due to mechanical and sensor failure inside the unit. And without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Let me first turn on the printer to show you the actual error blinks and printer error code. So this is now the error. All panel lit flashes continuously upon turning on the printer. So now we have to check the printer error code on your PC control panel under devices and printers. Just right click your printer model under printers and click printing preferences. Then go to maintenance tab and click on Epson Status Monitor 3 to check the printer error and printer status. And here's the error code. It shows 000043 error, and it recommends to check and remove jammed paper. So now, we have to turn off the printer and start checking jammed paper, and we may check also the paper feeder rubber on its pickup arm assembly. So press the power button to turn off the printer. Then wait until panel lit indicators completely turned off. Then unplug the USB cable and printer's power cord. Then lift the printer cover to access the pickup arm paper feed rubber. Just press this blue part to unlock and release the paper feeder rubber. And inspect any partial damage to the rubber and make sure that paper rubber is not broken or else it requires to replace new paper feed rubber. But in this case, paper feed rubber is good, so we are going to reattach it again and proceed to the next step. So the next step is we need to rotate the pickup arm to confirm that it's not got stuck and able to rotate and able to reposition the pickup arm correctly. So since the paper feed rubber has no damage and pickup arm is working correctly, let's proceed on the next step. Carefully inspect any pieces of jammed paper inside the printer's paper tray. You must clear the paper tray and remove the paper jammed that might cause the issue. But in these case, we don't have found any pieces of jammed paper inside the machine and paper tray. So next is we need to unscrew the top cover of the machine in order to remove the top cover. Then, we may now remove the printer's top cover. Then you may check and clean also your carriage encoder strip if you found any splash ink or dirt on your carriage encoder strip. Because if your carriage encoder strip has a splash ink or dirt, it can also cause an error of your machine, so carriage encoder strip must free from dirt or ink stain. So in our case, our carriage encoder strip is clear from ink stain and dirt. So we may now proceed checking on its PF encoder disk. So we need to remove this side cover to access the PF encoder disk. So unscrew this side cover first. Then you can simply remove the side cover by just using a flat screwdriver. 
Then here we may now check the PF encoder disk. So as we can see here, the PF encoder disk has an ink stain and dirt, so we may clean the PF encoder disk by using a tissue and avoid using a strong cleaning solution, it may damage your encoder disk. Just put the tissue on encoder disk and rotate the white gear in the side. Repeat the cleaning process until the dirt on the encoder disk is completely removed. Then remove also the dust using a paintbrush. Then detach the PF sensor flex cable and unscrew the PF encoder disk sensor. Then remove the PF encoder disk sensor, then clean and remove dust using a paintbrush. Then reattach the PF encoder disk sensor and attach the screw. Reattach the sensor flex cable. Then just reverse the procedure to reassemble your printer. Then after reassembling the printer, we may now plug the power cord and USB cable. Then we may now press the power button to turn on the printer. Then load a paper on its paper tray. Then we may restart the printer to remove this error. Then wait until Wi-Fi light flashing is gone and PowerLit will become stable. So now as we can see, only the power indicator lit and the red flashing is gone. Then now we may check the printer status to confirm the error is resolved. So now printer status is ready. Then now we may run a nozzle check to test the printer if it is now working. Then now we have print the nozzle check and the flashing error and 000043 is successfully resolved. And that's the step-by-step -step procedure on how to troubleshoot and fix this error issue of this Epson EcoTank L18050 printer. If you found this video helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.